Hi guys, KK here. I just want to pop in right quick before this video starts just to forewarn you, this is a very long video, okay? Just in case you haven't looked at the timestamp, it's a long one. And it's really just kind of like an impromptu video that I decided to do at the last minute as I was kind of going through my brushes just to kind of sit down with you guys and talk about some brushes. Basically, this is a video for someone who is interested in my thoughts on the different brushes that I use. Maybe you're looking for some different types or styles of brushes and you're curious about how I use my brushes. So that is what this video is. Grab a snack, a meal, do your dishes, do your laundry, you know, do your nails. <laughs> this is that type of video, okay? Very long, so sorry about that, but it's just kind of like a last minute random video that I decided to do when I thought you guys might be interested if you love brushes like I do. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Hey guys welcome back okay so today's video is actually a very impromptu video um <laughs> don't have anything planned don't even really know what exactly i'm gonna do in this video so if you're not in the mood for a random video just talking about stuff then this might not be the video for you but hi you guys um yeah i sat down i know you guys are like oh my goodness what in the world are all those brushes this is basically my whole brush collection. I have some brushes over here as well, which are the brushes that I use on a regular basis, and we'll get to those in a minute. But these are all the brushes that I keep up on my shelf that just kind of sit there because I'm a brush freak. Occasionally, I'll be looking for a specific type of brush, and I'll go and try and find it in here. But for the most part, this is you know all like my brush collection now there are several uh sets in here i like to buy brush sets i don't typically buy individual brushes so i do like to buy brush sets and sometimes i buy brush sets for decorative pur purposes just being honest i like to place certain pretty brushes around my room switch them out stuff like that so yeah some of these brushes like these um are more so decorative brushes um they're definitely functional definitely you know usable these i actually did a video on the milani brushes but they're so gorgeous that now they're just kind of like decorative pieces these i got i believe from amazon if i'm not mistaken has a pretty glitter handle and these i definitely got from Morphe. I fell in love with these brushes when I saw them. They were like, I think like a holiday collection. I don't know, but so, so pretty. So some of my brushes definitely purchased <laughs> for decorative reasons. But the reason why I'm sitting here today with all my brushes in front of me is because just like I shop my stash for makeup, I feel like I need to start shopping my stash for brushes as well because you know, when we do our face, our eyes and everything, we get comfortable with certain brushes that we just know are gonna work for us. So those are the brushes that we gravitate to and we reach for. They're usually in one little brush holder that we always sit down with to do our makeup with. And so because of that, I have all these brushes I'm comfortable with and I don't wanna try anything new. All of these brushes are basically just sitting here going to waste and there could be some really good brushes in here that I really love, but I would never know because I don't take the time to try them. So right here, what I'll do is I'll start by just kind of showing you um, my everyday brush holders, <laughs> which I have three. I know that's ridiculous, but when I sit down to do my makeup, I grab these three brush holders because I need all three of them, okay? This first one here, as you can see, it does have some eye brushes in here. This is just kind of like a varying mix of different types of eye brushes. 
you know, eyebrow brush, definitely need that. Different type of flat brushes for concealer placement, cut creases and stuff. And then there's just kind of like a pish posh of different blending brushes and stuff in here. Now this brush right here from BH Cosmetics, this is out of the Marble Luxe set. This one is like, you know, just the flat shader brush. I could not sit down and do my eyes without this brush, period. I bought like four or five of these collections just for this brush. I mean, I use it to carve out my brows. I use it to place shimmers on my lid. I use it sometimes for cut creases. I just, this is my absolute favorite brush. I cannot live with this. If somebody came and took all of these brushes out of my collection, we would have to fight, okay? Because I love those. But, you know, this is just a mixture of all kind of different brushes. And I pull from here occasionally, but not, you know, to do my whole eye look. Now, this holder also has all of my face brushes that I use in here, um, you know, for powder, foundation, contour, stuff like that. So these are like all of my favorite brushes to, <laughs> to use every time I sit down. This one here is a It Cosmetics. This is a Love Beauty Fully, Fully Powder Brush. Oh my gosh, you guys, this brush right here, <laughs> I love this brush. I really, really do not want to replace it, but I feel like I need to try something else. But I know anything else that I choose for a powder brush is going to be the same size and style because I love big, fluffy powder brushes. So this is my powder brush. Just going to talk about things uh, briefly. I love this MSQ foundation brush. I'm sure I got this off of Amazon and I love it because it's flat, it's angled. As you can see, I wasn't able to get all of my foundation out um, the last time I washed it, but it's so weird. Certain foundations, some of them come out super easy and some of them I really have to fight to get it out. So whatever foundation I use, <laughs> it didn't want to come out. But this brush is absolutely one of my favorite foundation brushes. I really, really love it. This brand, MSQ, I don't know if you can see that on there, MSQ. I get these off of Amazon and they come in a set and I just, I love this brush. So I always gravitate towards that. Now for bronzer, it kind of depends on how I feel. I use this uh, Moda brush for my bronzer a lot. I don't even think this is a bronzer brush, you know, because it's kind of fluffy, but it kind of depends. Sometimes when I sit down to do my bronzer, I want to just put it on, you know, and not really be so precise. And I just kind of want to blow it out, you know, in the areas that I want it blown out in my face. And this brush is perfect for that because it's a nice size. It's rounded and it has a little bit of firmness to it. So it definitely will blend out your contour or your bronzer nicely. So I love using this brush here. I also have foundation brushes in here as well, like this one, which is a brush from Juvia's. This is the liquid primer brush, you know, and it's kind of like the shape of, you know, the flat foundation brushes and stuff, but I don't really particularly like using these type of brushes that much. So this really can come out and just, you know, go back in my brushes because I don't even really use that. What else do I have in here? Brushes like this. This one is from BH Cosmetics. This is one of their vegan brushes, V2. Brushes like this I like to use for blush. This is a really nice blush brush for me. And you'll find that I don't use my brushes a lot of times for what they're stated to be used for. This one doesn't have a name. But a lot of times, you know, I won't use them for what they're supposed to be used for. I use them for how they work best for me. So something like this I would use for a blush brush. Um, what is this? This is another MSQ brush. This brush is a little bit more firm than the one, you know, the other one that I showed for contour, but I would also use this for contour and bronzer as well. If I wanted to be a little bit more precise with my bronzer placement, you can see this one is a little bit smaller and not as fluffy as this one, you know, for bronzer. So it just kind of depends on how I feel with those. Now, brushes like these, this one is from Juvia's Place as well. 
does this have a name? No, this one doesn't have a name. But a brush like this, I would use to gently tap powder under my eyes. That's what I would use this for. This is probably like a highlighting brush or something, but for me, this is a bit larger than what I like to use for highlight. So while you can use it as a nice highlighter brush, I would like to use something like this to tap powder underneath my eyes or around my nose or something like that with a little more precision. So I really like brushes like this for that. Now, what else do I have in here? Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of these brushes that I would use for highlights. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so these two brushes right here, I would definitely grab to use for highlighter. This one here is the Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush, the F35. This is an excellent brush for highlighting. Very, very nice, easy to use, precise placement of your highlighter, blends out nicely. So definitely would use that for highlighter. This one is a small tapered powder brush. I think this is actually from Perfusion. But yeah, I would definitely use this for highlighter for sure because you know it's just small enough for me to get that highlighter right on my cheekbones and be able to control that placement so yeah this is very nice and I actually really like these um profusion brushes I really really do I think they're priced a little bit high to be honest with you <laughs> um that's why I haven't bought a whole set from them but you know what are you gonna do now, brushes that are kind of shaped like this, I would use also to place powder underneath my eyes. So as you can see, I have all of these in my everyday brush holder. Obviously, I don't need three different <laughs> brushes to place powder under my eyes, especially considering the fact that I wash my brushes every time I use them. So I don't really need multiple brushes um, for multiple days of makeup. This one is the BH Cosmetics number four. I'm sure this is one out of one of their sets. It looks like maybe the rose gold set because the ferrule is like rose gold. And it could quite possibly be specifically for highlight, but this is one that I would use definitely to, you know, place powder under my eyes. I might grab this for highlighter just depending on how I feel, you know, on that particular day. Once again, this one is from a brand called DU Care. Um, they are available on Amazon, very, very affordable. And I purchase their brushes quite frequently, their brush sets. But something like this, perfect for highlighting as well as powder under the eyes. It's a little bit larger. Let me show you what I mean when I say that is a little bit larger, a little bit fluffier than what I like to use for highlight. So the Sigma brush on the top is the one that I like to use for highlighting. The Do You Care brush on the bottom is a little bit fluffier. That's what I like to use for powders under my eyes and things like that. Sometimes when you're doing an eye look, you might get a little bit of shadow under your eye or you might get a little bit of glitter or something that you need to kind of dust away and these type of brushes are perfect for that so this is another brush out of the msq set perfect for you know powder under the eyes dusting away of fallout things like that so i love to keep these type of brushes in my everyday brush holder so let's see what else do i have in here anything else i want to talk about not really. Brushes like this, I really don't grab. This is a Juvia's Place brush. This is the J109 Smudger. Very pretty handle, as you can see there. These brushes, um, you can definitely use these for blending out like a little bit of concealer under your eyes or around your face, smudging out like large eyeshadow areas, you know, on your eyes if you just want to go in with a big brush to smudge out, um, some eyeshadow things like that but me personally i would use this brush to apply my eyeshadow primer so or eyeshadow base because this works excellently like if you have like a cream eyeshadow base or something that you know you just want to place all over your lid and make sure it blends out evenly this brush is perfect for that because it's nice and firm very very firm not soft at all so that's what i like these brushes for um, over here, 
I have like this brush here from Morphe. This is the M439. I'm sure I've heard several people talking about how amazing this foundation brush is and that's how I ended up grabbing it. But I don't know. I don't really care for rounded foundation brushes. I like mine to be completely flat so that I can carve around my eyebrows and stuff more easily. But I think that this is a nice foundation brush if you like something that's very, very firm, very hard. <laughs> yeah, I'll get your mind out the gutter. But yeah, if you like something that's very firm to apply your foundation and it's like it's firm and soft at the same time. So it's not scratchy or anything. Um, I could see this definitely applying foundation in a nice, even coat, even layer. So yeah, this is a nice brush as well. I never use it though. So I'm sure I'm going to switch this out and, you know, maybe just take it out and not even use it. This is another foundation brush that I have in here. This one I think is from, is this Real Techniques? Complexion Blender Brush. Yeah, it's RT101. So this is a Real Techniques uh, foundation brush. You see it has little swirls in there. So you can place your foundation in there and just apply it to your face. It is a little bit angled, as you can see. So, you know, gives you a little bit of, yeah. This is the type of foundation brush that I like because it's just nice and flat. It's kind of soft, but it has enough firmness to move the foundation around. And with it being flat, I can easily like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I can easily carve around my eyebrows and things like that. So I really like these type of brushes. I haven't used that one in a while. I forgot it was in there. So I'll probably have to uh, play with that a bit. These type of brushes here, these larger, um, you know, kind of like teardrop shaped brushes, if you will. I really like to use these, honestly, how do I use these? I use these more for like dusting away um, excess powder under my eyes, you know, if I wanna do that. Sometimes, occasionally, I'll use these for blush, depending on how I feel. I might use it for blush because they are nice and soft. This one is the Sigma Tapered Face Brush, the F25. So yeah, I just have various uses for this. This one from Juvia's Place. Um, I love the color of this brush set, so pretty. But this one has that same kind of like pointed shape, but it's a little bit more firm. It's not as soft as the Sigma one. It's a little bit more firm. And I would definitely use this for placing powder under my eyes, for sure. I would just use this you know, tap the powder under my eyes. Very nice for that because it is a little bit more firm. This brush here, I think I got this in a boxy charm. This is the Billion Dollar Brushes. And you know what? I actually really, really like this brush. I can't stand double-sided brushes because I don't like to store them. Because as you can see, I put my brushes in brush holders like this. And I don't want to smash either side of the brush so i really hate double-sided brushes for that reason but i actually love this brush that's why i've kept it around <laughs> and didn't give it away is because for contouring this brush is amazing i like to use this you know on the rare occasion when i want to sculpt sculpt out my nose a bit so this is perfect for using on both sides you know of your nose to kind of sculpt them out a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of contour. And this is really, really nice if you want a more precise, um, you know, blending out of your bronzer or contour. So I actually really like this brush and that's why I keep it around. Even though I don't like the fact that I have to kind of place it in my holder, I kind of try to keep it to where it doesn't go all the way down and that way I'm not smashing the brush completely. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the brushes that I use like on a regular basis for, you know, my basic complexion and eyes. Now, the reason why I said I don't use a lot of these eye brushes, just some of them, <laughs> is because, okay, let me show you my main um, eyeshadow brush holder. This is my main eyeshadow brush holder. Like, Holy Grail 
have to have it when I sit down. This is the one, okay? And the reason why I say that is because it's three sections, as you can see. And I do buy my brush holders from Amazon. So these are available on Amazon. I don't know if they're like seven or 10 bucks, but whenever I need a new one, I just pick one up from Amazon. Has three different sections and it holds quite a few brushes, as you can see. But this section here, these are all, as you can see here, very small detail brushes. I mean, you have your small blenders, your small crease brushes, you have your tiny little brushes for eyeliner and stuff like that, small brushes for when I'm doing cut creases or I want to place shimmer in a certain place or something like that. Let me just grab some of these and kind of show you so you can get a better idea of, you know, these types of brushes that I have in here. So all of these are kind of like the same style, same shape of detail brush, as you can see. So they're all semi-flat um, some of them are rounded, some of them are pointed, but they all have like that flat shape to them and they're very, very small. These I would use if I wanted to carve out a specific area using like a, a dark shadow, like say like I didn't want to do a whole fluffy cut crease and I wanted to just kind of carve it out, I would use this. If I want to place some, you know, shimmer on my inner corner and I wanna kinda of drag it out a bit, I would use one of these. So these have various uses. If I wanted an underline, um, not underline, if I wanted to do like a dark color on my lower lash line, just below my lashes and I wanted to keep it very, very precise and I didn't want it to go down too far under my eyes, I might use this just to kinda of line right under my lashes. But that is what I would use these type of brushes for. Now, I also have in here some kind of like very small but fluffy blending type brushes. Let me just pull some of these as well. Now, these brushes, when I'm doing like, you know, more detailed looks. I use these a lot in my crease. If I really want to have a lot of control over where I place a darker color in my crease or how I'm blending something out in the corners of my eyes, these brushes are amazing for that because you have a lot of control and you know you can pick up a nice amount of product, blend it out nicely, but it's not going to go too far. It's not going to get out of control very easily with these types of brushes. So I really like those. These are, I use a lot of e.l.f. brushes. So yeah, <laughs> there's like four, four of these are e.l.f. brushes and they're called Detail Crease Brush. Let's see if you can see that. Detail Crease Brushes from e.l.f. Yes, you have to have some of these in your collection if you like to do, you know, detail eye looks. This one here is from Morphe. It doesn't have a name on it. I'm pretty sure it's just in one of their, um, you know, eye brush collections. But yeah, this one is from Morphe. And as you can see, it's basically the exact same as these e.l.f. ones. And so you can definitely buy the e.l.f. ones and save a little bit of money. Now, another type of brush that I use quite often, and when I say quite often, I mean quite often is like these small what are these called because these are from elf also this is the eye crease brush yeah so these are like small crease brushes okay so i love these brushes these are another type of eyeshadow brush that's like my favorite type of brush because these brushes Look, if you're trying to blend a lighter shade of a color into a darker shade of color and you want to really control the blend and make sure that you don't go too far out, too far up, and that it's going to blend effortlessly without a lot of work, these type of brushes are perfect for that. These brushes are very firm, very, very firm. Um, they're not soft at all. 
but these brushes oh my gosh love 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 them just because of the fact that they are super firm which helps you to blend out really you can get a real nice seamless blend between a dark blue and a light blue and keep it nicely controlled in a very specific area with brushes like these. I love these. And so, like I said, I get the e.l.f. ones, which are the e.l.f. crease brush. And what is this one here? This is from BH Cosmetics. This is a number 10 from one of their brush sets. Looks like the rose gold set as well. This one is also a little bit more... It has a bit of a rounded tip, but they're all the same, nice and firm. This one, is this a, oh, this is from Andrea Renee's um, collab with Peach and Pearl. If you guys aren't familiar with Andrea Renee, this is from her brush set. She's here on YouTube and I love her channel. Nice, firm, pencil type brush. Great for doing uh, detailed eye looks and blending out um, crease. Now brushes like these I like to use for my inner corner highlight when I really, really want to control exactly where I place my inner corner highlight. That's when I use brushes like these because as you can see, they are a little bit pointed, but they're smaller brushes and they're firm. These brushes are very, very firm and I can easily place inner corner highlight right in the very corner of my eye without it getting out of hand or going you know going too far very nice for controlling that these are also good for controlling um shadow that you place underneath your eyes as well now i have as you can see a variation of brushes from different sets this one's from bh cosmetics is this yeah i don't i don't think this is a vegan brush but this is from bh cosmetics this one is from Juvia's Place, so this is from her red brush collection. This one here is from Amazon from a company called BS Small. I buy their brush sets quite a bit. And this one doesn't have a name on it at all, so who knows <laughs> what brush set this came out of. But these are all that same pencil type brush for easy placement of inner corner highlights. Now these type of brushes, this is kind of like three different types, but I use them basically a lot for the same type of thing. This one here, um, this is from DU Care, you know, pretty ombre purple handle set off of Amazon. This one is the angled type brush. A lot of people use this for their brows. I really don't use brushes like this for my eyebrows. I like to use brushes like this for controlling eyeshadow placement underneath my eyes. I use them for that a lot because I don't use them for my brows. This shape of brush, this one is from Juvia's Place as well. This is like the rounded type of smudger brush. As you can see, it's very thin, small, rounded. You can use this for a lot of detail work if you feel more comfortable using this to do cut creases or for carving out an eye look as well as using it under your um, on your lower lash line which is what I do a lot I use this on my lower lash line quite a bit just for placement of really dark eyeshadows now this one here is from BH Cosmetics this is from what was it their poolside set I can tell because it has that blue ferrule but this is a brush that kind of has the same rounded shape as the Juvia's Place one, but this one is not as thin. It's just a little bit thicker. So I like to use brushes like this for my lower lash line as well. It's really, really good for, you know, smudging out a color on your lower lash line without it going too crazy. So I like using these type of brushes for lower lash line work. That's what they work best for me as. And I think the last type of detail brush I really wanna talk about are these very super thin eyeliner type brushes. And I just have two here. I know I have plenty more elsewhere, but you know, you really don't need that much. These I use for eyeliner, <laughs> you know, whether it be me wanting to use it for a colored eyeliner, a water activated liner, a black eyeliner in a pot, gel cream liner, stuff like that. 
um you know just detail work this one is from bh cosmetics this is out of one of their sets and this one is angled so you know you might not be that comfortable with using an angled one but they sell all kind of liner brushes but you see how teeny teeny tiny that is perfect for eyeliner this one which actually still has some liner on it <laughs> Um, I actually got out of a paintbrush set that I got from like Michaels or off of Amazon probably. But yeah, because it's so teeny tiny, it works out amazing. This one, as you can see, is not bent. I do take this and I'm able to dip it inside of... <laughs> <laughs> did I really need to show that you guys know what I mean but I could dip it inside of a eyeliner you know container and use it that's why there's residue on here it's not clean but yeah this works amazing for you know graphic line designs and stuff like that because sometimes the brushes that come in those eyeliner containers or little eyeliners they're horrible sometimes they're really really bad so it's good to have some of these on hand to use as well so basically that's all I wanted to kind of go over with the detail brushes just giving you an idea of why I have so many different ones that's why because they all come in handy both of these sides of my uh, brush holder contain blending brushes there's some random brushes in here that don't belong in here like this one, which is a nice smudger brush as well. This is from a set from MSQ off of Amazon. Very, very nice for smudging um, eyeshadow underneath your eyes. A lot of people use these type of brushes to carve out their brows as well. I prefer a rounded flat brush, but a lot of people use the square one and it works out very, very nice. So I probably need to try the square one sometime to see if I prefer it over the rounded ones, but very very nice brush as well <laughs> now you would think those are all of the brushes that i need for my eyes right <laughs> yeah no not so much <laughs> this brush holder holds all of my morphe um well most of my morphe as you can see i had a couple in there but most of my morphe brushes and any other brushes that i deem you know that i want to have in here mainly because i like having all dark handles in here so that's why i have this set but yeah i just kind of keep a pish posh of brushes in here as well i have some of my dj's unique boutique brushes in here this is her large shadow fluffer brush and this is really great for doing like blown out shades on your lid you know in your crease blowing it out if you want to do one shadow looks or just to get a look started it's also really nice for highlighter as well so i use it for both occasionally it just depends on how i'm feeling that day but yeah i have her brushes in here along with some of my absolute favorite type of blending brushes these are both from bh cosmetics oh my goodness these are the number five blending brushes eyeshadow brushes oh my goodness you just want a nice blending brush to do crease work blow out a look this i love these brushes <laughs> that's all i can see that's all i can say is i really love these brushes okay bh cosmetics has some really nice brushes um some of my other favorite brushes this is a really nice brush this is from morphe it's the e17 very nice eyeshadow brush for blending um yeah really really nice brush i don't know i want to just keep saying the same thing over and over again but this is the morphe e18 this is a nice like crease brush because it's smaller it has a little bit of density to it so this is a excellent crease brush now the funny thing is is i love using these type of brushes for um blending shadow out but these brushes, oh my goodness, from Morphe are all, yeah, these are all Morphe brushes, like M441. And this is a different one, doesn't have a number. But these M441s, these brushes are really nice for blending as well. But these brushes, after you wash them, they start to look like a crazy cat got a hold of them. I mean, mine don't look as bad right now, but like after you wash them, you'll kind of see they start to really fray out and look crazy. But yeah, these are really nice blending brushes as well. I just hate the way they look after I wash them. So yeah, this is just another, you know, I have another eyeliner brush in here. This is from Sigma. This is a Smig 
Smigma. This is the Sigma Small Eyeliner Brush, the E, what is it, E10? I don't know, you guys, I can't see that. Maybe you can read that. But yeah, this is their small eyeliner brush. It's still in the case. I haven't used it yet, but I could tell this will be an amazing eyeliner brush. And then lastly, of course, I have some, um, you know, of the brushes that I use to brush out my brows. Have to have this, this is a must. This is a dual ended Morphe brush, the E29. So if you do like to use the slanted brushes for your brows, um, drawing them in, carving them out, whatever the case may be, this is a really nice brush to have that's double sided. So those are, <laughs> I know it's crazy. Those are all of my brushes that I pull when I sit down to do my makeup, okay? All three of those containers I pull. Now, these brushes over here, I just kind of wanted to briefly go through them just to see if there are some that I want to switch out from my everyday brushes or not. Now, I'll just go ahead and remove like my decorative brushes because I'm not going to use any of those. These, like I said, are my Milani brushes, Amazon brushes, Morphe brushes. Very pretty, but I don't really use those. These brushes here are also decorative brushes, but um, I wouldn't really be that opposed to using them. I just don't. I have some brushes over here from BH Cosmetics. Very, very beautiful rose gold brush set. These in the middle actually are from Amazon. And I really like these because they're different. They have like the squared, they're round, but you know, it's flat. It has the flat bottom on there, has the pretty rose gold ferrule. And you know, they're actually decent brushes. The reason why I don't really care to use these is, is because I don't prefer to use brushes that have colored tips, just because of the fact that I find it kind of difficult for me to know sometimes how much product I'm picking up. Like if I use this brush for blush and I'm using like a peachy or orangey type blush, <laughs> then I might not know exactly how much product I have on the brush. So I prefer just like solid colored tips so that I can see the product better. But these are actually really nice from Amazon, a company called BS Small. These brushes here... BH Cosmetics brushes, very, very nice. They have the rose gold ferrule and it's a whole set, you know, a whole set of brushes in here. Like I said, I do like to buy brush sets, but yeah, I'm not going to pull any of these because I doubt if I use those. These brushes also definitely decorative brushes, but I do use specific brushes out of my BH Cosmetics Marble Lux set. I've purchased several of these sets over the years because I love these brushes. They're really soft, really nice. I mean, this is the powder brush out of the Marble Lux set. Do you see how nice that is? They are so nice and soft and just absolutely beautiful. But because I have so many sets, I don't use them all. This one I would use for like blush. This is the number two. Definitely we use that for blush. They even have like these foundation brushes in here. This one is a number three. And like I said earlier, I don't like rounded foundation brushes. So I definitely would not use this, even though it is a very nice brush. If you like these type of brushes, very nice. I would definitely say if you can catch these on sale when they go down to like 20 bucks, grab them, grab them. They're very nice. So yeah, they have all these different types of brushes in there. And they also have these dual fiber brushes. Number five, I never use the dual fiber brushes. I've never been able to grasp exactly um, how I would want to use them. So I just don't. But yeah, if you like the dual fiber brushes, they have one of these in there as well. I hear these can be good for like cream products, cream blush and stuff like that. So yeah, very, very nice brush. These brushes here I got from, I think my BoxyCharm. These are Alamar brushes. Absolutely gorgeous. Do you see these brushes? They're so freaking pretty, okay? And I actually really want to use these, but this one here, which one is this? 
Do these have names? Oh, here we go, bronzer brush. So this one, I was thinking it was a foundation brush just because of how it looks, but it says this is a bronzer brush. And I think the reason why I don't really use these brushes is because, I don't know, I don't think they're the best quality. Quite honestly, I don't. They're soft, but you can just look at it. Doesn't it look kind of wonky? It just, it does not look like a quality brush. I mean, his hair sticking up. The cutout looks crazy. You know, the dye job is crazy. I don't feel like these are the best quality brushes, even though, you know, I really, really like Al Alamar. But, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't have a desire to use them. This one here is a complexion brush. So this is what this one looks like. This one looks a little better, actually. Really nice. I would use this probably for contour or bronzer of some sort. And this one is the brightening brush, whatever that means. <laughs> I would use this probably just to tap powder under my eyes just because of the shape of it. And it's kind of small. It's a little bit firm too. So I wouldn't really use this for blush, I don't think. But yeah, so they're nice. They're really, really pretty. But definitely brushes that I'm just putting on display for now. Now, these brushes here are all brushes that I've used, that I've put into use or, you know, have used or would definitely use, have no problem using. So that's what all of these brushes are. These brushes here are actually, I think for the most part, newer brushes that I have picked up over the last few weeks. These two small brushes I can take out because these were in my dose of colors eyeshadow palettes the two new ones the green one and the smoky one so i can take these out i don't know what i'm gonna do with these little brushes i don't like tiny brushes like that y'all know i don't like tiny stuff this holder i picked up not too long ago from elf it's really really cute it says elf play beautifully if you can see that it's just really really light but yeah i thought it was cute this has these different separations in here it was on sale, so I grabbed it. But yeah, I just have like some random brushes in here that I actually want to use. So I'm probably going to pull some of these to replace my everyday brushes. This one here is a newer brush that I got. This one is, says, this is, what is this? Oh, yeah, this is an It Cosmetics brush that I picked up not too long ago. You probably saw it if you watched my haul video. But I thought this was kind of interesting. It's an airbrush full coverage complexion brush from IT Cosmetics. But it's supposed to be infused with some kind of anti-aging something or other <laughs> inside the brush. Which I'm sure is a gimmick, but you know, whatever. I also like the shape of the brush. I think this will really be an interesting brush to, to use for applying my foundation. So I think I am going to pull this brush to replace my foundation brush for a while. This is one of my Sigma brushes. Um, it's funny, I purchased a Sigma set for like 100 bucks. It was on sale, originally 200 bucks. I got it on sale for half off. I did a video on them as well, just unboxing them, not actually using them. Um, like I said, it's funny enough because after I went and started using some of my brushes, I realized that there are very few brushes in that set that I just absolutely really, really love. And so I'm not one of those that feels like you have to spend a whole lot of money on brushes that work well for you. You have to use what works well for you. And for me, I don't feel like I need to spend a whole lot of money on brushes. So this is a really nice powder brush, large powder brush. But even with this, it's not the shape or size that I even like to use for a powder brush. You know, this is what I like to use for a powder brush. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but the IT Cosmetics that I like to use, way fluffier, rounder, just I prefer this over this. So it's kind of like, I'm probably never gonna use that. Now these brushes here, <laughs> I actually grabbed, this one is another Sigma brush. This is a Sigma Kabuki brush very interesting shape i just had to have this brush you guys it just intrigued me so much i was like i gotta use that under my eyes i have to 
Do you think I've used this under my eye? I think I used it once and didn't really even like it. I was like, eh. I felt like the way I used it, I could feel the feral part touching my face and I didn't like that. I don't know. I just didn't really care for it. And I think I might have paid, I paid a good, pretty, a good pretty penny for this brush too, but I don't even really like it like that. So I hate that I bought that. This one I actually got from uh, Amazon. I saw it on there and I was like, ooh, that is really nice. I don't know what it is with me and like under eye brushes, but this is a brush that I saw and I was like, ooh, I can use that to blend out concealer under my eye or just tap powder under my eye. You know, it's a very nice shape. It's nice and firm. Still haven't used it. Look at this handle. You see that it has a nice little slant on there it is really really pretty so I'm gonna pull this to use as well I also have this brush here I think I got this in my boxycharm this is a bronzer brush and it is from complex culture is that what it is complex culture I don't know but yeah this is a bronzer brush that I got in my subscription box and I want to try it out so yeah I'm gonna pull this as well it looks like it'll work nice for bronzer um, it's kind of firm rounded so yeah I'm gonna try this out um, let's see these other brushes I have in here this one is the Ulta bronzing brush got this recently I will more likely use this for blush to be honest with you so I'm gonna pull this as well to use it for blush and these two brushes here this is a Ulta brush as well tapered highlighting brush number 23 this brush looks really nice really really nice it looks like it would provide a very nice um, highlighter application for me so I'm gonna pull that and with me pulling these brushes I am going to just take my other ones out and replace them with those because they won't all fit in my brush holder anyway but this is an angle foundation brush and I showed this in my haul as well this is from Ulta smaller foundation brush than I would typically use but I do like the fact that it is flat it is angled and it's a very nice precise cut so I definitely feel like this is a brush that I would like to uh, try out so I'm gonna pull this as well so I'm just gonna start moving brushes that I know I don't want to use now these brushes here you guys remember these art artiste style brushes I actually used to use some of these brushes when I first started out on my makeup journey here on YouTube I use them quite often as a matter of fact and I really like these brushes but the thing is with these type of brushes for me at least my application for my foundation and concealer takes much longer than when I use you know other types of brushes so although these are really gorgeous and I do want to play with these again sometime in the near future it does make my process a bit longer for some reason it just does so I used to use like this size for foundation so it's a little bit smaller a little bit more control very very cute I really really like these br brushes and I used to use uh, this size for my concealer so I would just put my concealer down and just tap 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 it out until it was all blended and then just kind of you know make it nice and even so I really like those brushes, but I'm not going to use those. This is just some more random brushes as well. This is a brush also part of the MSQ set from Amazon. Beautiful pink feral here. Love that nice contour brush. I really don't use these type of brushes for contour for some reason. I mean, they're nice and precise and firm. So they will help you to blend out your contour very easily, you know um especially like cream contour for sure uh do i want to pull this i'm gonna pull this because i did pull my cream contour from fenty beauty i believe so i'm gonna go ahead or my bronzer so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this to play with and i think that would be it from this set now this next set of brushes it has a lot of like my flat top um foundation brushes in here which I'm not going to pull another one because I already pulled one but as you can see a lot of different flat top foundation brushes in here I also have 
another contour brush. This one is from e.l.f. You know, if you want to check out some more e.l.f. brushes, e.l.f. has a nice kind of flat contour blending brush as well. In the center here, I have some, like these are like longer type brushes. I still don't know what to do with these brushes. Whenever I buy brush sets and I get brushes like this, maybe you guys can let me know down in the comment section. Um, I just, like what do you guys use these for? This size and this shape, it's like it's too small for me to powder with. It's too large for me to kind of use under my eyes and stuff. So do you use these for like contour, bronzer, blush? I don't know, you guys, let your girl know because I never use these brushes, but they look very nice. I just don't know what to do with them. Now, y'all, this has got to be the ugliest brush set I have ever seen in my life. These brushes that came in the boxy charm. I took one look at them. I was like, what is that? It's like a combination between a regular brush and the Artiste brushes. And I hate these brushes. And I really wish that I could have gave them away. But when I did the unboxing for this boxy charm, my hubby decided to play with the brushes. And I was like, I'm not giving away no used brushes. So I just kept them, but yeah, I don't know. I would never use these because these are ugly. They're not, it's like they're not even in a shape or size that I would even want to use. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with these, but honey, they could have kept those. And then over here, I just have a lot more smaller brushes as well that I would use for like under eye or I would use for highlight, stuff like that, you know, just smaller type fluffy brushes these size of brushes in here and i have various um sizes various brands in here as you can see like i said i got a lot of stuff from amazon this is really cute this is a real techniques brush and it's rounded i don't know i would love to use this for something <laughs> what is this for does this say contour brush oh okay i can see that I can see that because it def it does. It has some firmness to it. It's not soft. Um, so yeah, I can see that using that to blend out. You know what? I'm gonna pull this too. I'm gonna pull this as well. And then also, is this e.l.f.? Yeah, this is an e.l.f. highlighting pr brush. I don't know if I showed the e.l.f. highlighting brushes already, but yeah, so that's what's in here. These um this is a 12, a J225 foundation brush from Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place brushes. They're so pretty, so nice. The quality is amazing. Um, but I don't use these type of foundation brushes. So yeah, I'm not going to pull that. So that's it for this one. Uh, let's see what's next. Okay, so this obviously is a bunch of huge powder brushes. <laughs> and yeah, it's like I don't want to switch out my powder brush. I love my powder brush. Um, these brushes here, this would be the closest brush to the It Cosmetics brush that I really, really love. Um, as you can see, I also have one of my BH Cosmetics Marble Lux brushes in here. But these brushes I got from AliExpress, y'all. I found these large powder brushes on AliExpress. And if I can remember or if I can find the link, I'll put it down below. Of course, I'm not going to link all these brushes. I'm sorry, you guys. That's why I'm trying to tell you the names and the numbers because it would just be way too much. But I got this brush off of AliExpress and this is really, really close to my It Cosmetics brush. Let me show you. So these are the brushes, you know, side by side just to show you like the sizing and all that stuff. It, the shape is a little bit different, but for the most part, they perform exactly the same. The firmness, the softness, oh my gosh, they are really, really compat comparable, you know, to being the same type of powder brush. But I got this one from AliExpress and I know I paid less than $10 for it, maybe around five knowing me. But yeah, I grabbed a few of these because I love this brush. You can see, see the softness? It's just so bomb. And if you can't afford the It Cosmetics, check out AliExpress because the It Cosmetics is like 40 bucks, I think. And that might be on sale. 
but um yeah these are a great alternative if you're looking for a big fluffy brush but yeah i'm not going to i'm not going to pull anything from here because i think i'm good in that aspect i also got these from aliexpress but i bought these because i thought they were cute look at this handle isn't that pretty very very pretty um, and I like how it feels. It feels really nice too. It really does. This is another brush that would be nice for like contour or bronzer. The shape of it, very, very nice. Like I said, got these on AliExpress as well. Very, very affordable. Okay, so these are my last two um, <laughs> brush holders that I have. This one here has more powder brushes. As you can see, I'm a powder brush freak. This is another one of that style that I got from AliExpress, except this one is black instead of gold. Um, this brush here is from, is this Real Techniques or, oh, Eco Style, it, Eco Tools, I think. This is a full powder brush from Eco Tools that I got from Ulta. And this brush is actually really nice. It really is. This is really nice. If I was going to use a different powder brush, I would probably use this because it's a nice rounded shape. It has a little bit of firmness to it, even though it's nice and soft. And it's a little bit larger. You know, it is a little bit larger. It's not as large as my favorite, but I would try this out. I think I'm gonna pull this as well. But yeah, there's just more powder brushes and stuff in here from random brush sets that I have purchased. This one is from Moda Pro. Another nice powder brush, but not quite as large as I like when it comes to powder brushes. This one here is from Kinsey. This used to be my favorite before I purchased the It Cosmetics. This one I got from Marshalls, I believe, and... I had another brush like this from Kinsey and it completely fell apart. So I would never suggest purchasing these brushes <laughs> from Kinsey, from Marshalls, just because of the fact that mine fell apart. So I don't really use it like I used to, but it is a very, very nice powder brush. But yeah, I washed it. Like the second time I washed my other one, it completely fell apart. So I would never suggest these, but I like it. <laughs> So in here, I have a few more brushes like this one here is from e.l.f. It's from their, you know, their clear set of brushes. And this is the 103. I believe this is like a contour brush because it's angled. You know, it has that angle to it and it is firm, very firm. So yeah, I believe this is like a contour type brush. I never use that. And then over here, I have some more rounded foundation brushes as well as just some more real techniques brushes and whatever so yeah i'm not gonna pull anything from here and lastly i have this huge thing of brushes that has brushes that i actually need to use in here that i actually bought to use but never do this pink set here from bh cosmetics um i don't remember what set Oops, that's not it. I don't remember what set this was from, but really, really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I would definitely use these brushes in the future. But right now, they're just being cute in here. These brushes I got from, is it Eben? Yeah, the Eben website. These are Secret of Pharaoh brushes. Very, very cute. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can hold this right instead of looking like... I have issues over here. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it says Secret of Feral on there. And I think I got the contour brush, the highlighting brush, and the foundation brush. So these are brushes that I definitely want to use as well in the future for sure. But I got these off of the Eben website. So I'll be using these soon. I just haven't gotten around to it. Miscellaneous brushes. What is this? This is a brush that I had been using for bronzer. It's from Juno & Co. So I know I got this in, oh, I think I got this free when I ordered my Juno & Co. moisturizer. Yeah, I did. They sent me a free brush set. I forgot. But I have been using this for bronzer for a while, so I just kind of put it away and chilled out. This is another brush that I got in a subscription box from Gigi Gorgeous. 
that's another thing from subscription boxes you guys you can build up your brush collection as well you know i know the way that i shop and purchase makeup and beauty items is not normal you know i'm a youtuber i have uh, addiction issues stuff like that so but for someone just the regular everyday person who's trying to build up their makeup or brush collection tools stuff like that subscription boxes are great for that they really are these are just some really really pretty brushes some i got from my girl dj for my birthday i believe or it might have been christmas i think it was my birthday though she sent me some of these i bought some myself that have like this pretty you know she sent me the ones these with the pretty black and green um brushes on them or hairs on them and i bought some more to match the bottom but mine are look different on the top so those are gorgeous some more bh cosmetics brushes random brushes but you know i'm basically tired of talking so <laughs> yeah this is just a bunch of other brushes these red ones i really really like i actually used um this set in these are juvia's but i have some other ones as well where are they I actually used this set in a video not too long ago. What's the name on these? Yeah, these were a set of the Do You Do You Care brushes. Gorgeous red ferrule. Uh, I mean, red handle and gold ferrule. But I did. I used this brush set in a video. Really, really nice brushes. Very affordable. And it's a really large brush set from Amazon. But these are from Juvia's Place. So I just put my red brushes together because they look pretty together. But yeah, Juvia's has some of the best, best brush sets out there. Juvia's and BH Cosmetics. So, okay, you guys. So that is it for this video. Like I said, when I sat down, I had no idea what I was going to do. I just wanted to go through my brushes and pull out some new ones to use. And just kind of talk about my brushes and why I like the ones that I like. So I apologize, this video is going to be super long because I'm really not going to cut a lot out because I was just talking. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy watching this video of me talking about brushes. If you are interested in different brushes and curious about what they're used for, hopefully it was helpful. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say about my brushes. Now you have seen almost every brush in my collection, okay? So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!